The Socially Intelligent Interface, or C, is a lightweight, 3D-printed robotic head. With LCD screens for eyes and a mouth, and a flexible neck, it can convey a number of easy-to-read expressions. Just how humans and robots interact is still a grey area. C could help decipher this. Certainly there's a lot of interest uh, in, in using these sorts of um, robots as tools in psychology and trying to better understand um, you know, and answer some questions that remain in, in how we, we, we understand things like emotion um, and to be able to test out concepts in psychology. C could eventually be mounted onto a mobile robot, such as this prototype, called Aerobot. In the lab at Trinity College Dublin, they're working on assistive robots to help the elderly or disabled increase their independence. Aerobot is mechanically simple, yet highly adaptive depending on the environment. We've developed a system so that it can actually move in four different configurations and it can, it can transition quite easily between those four configurations. It allows us to do things like climbing steps, it allows us to do things like crossing gaps that we might need to if the, if the robot needs to get on a train, for example. It's a type of An air muscle actuator air helps control how the mass is distributed throughout the robot the and improves safety. We try and make stability something that the, the system defaults into. So if there is a problem, if the robot does break unexpectedly, that it, it, it defaults or it falls or it fails into a, a, a state uh, that is going to do as little damage as possible. The team says robots like Aerobot prove dynamic systems don't need to be extremely expensive or complex. While it's far from market ready, the team says with each iteration they're improving on problems inherent to robot design. They're now working on their most advanced prototype to date, a full-sized humanoid assistive robot.